Okay, hopefully this is gonna go pretty quickly. Um, this is I'm gonna teach. I've been getting this question a lot. People ask, it's possible to get get like an instrumental on a song and then like put it in FL. Of course, you could always try to remake it, but if you're a beginner or you're not good, like me, no, oh, I'm not good. I mean, if you're not good, as in I'm not good either, you can't remake stuff that well. So, instrumentals. Okay. Um. Basically, after you get your instrumental from however you want to get that, I don't know. You can download it from somewhere legally, of course. <clears throat> right. And uh, after you get it, you want to use the same steps to get that sound into your uh, FL Studio as I have in my How to Import Sounds video. I'll put an annotation if you want to watch that, but I'm going to show you anyway in this video. So, I'm going to go to your start menu, your computer, and my computer is okay. Your hard drive, which is C for me. Program files, bar, program files, image line, FL Studio, data, uh, patches, packs, and whatever you want. I have a I created this instrumental folder, which you can do, but it's like right clicking and new folder. Yeah, and I have this instrumentals folder or I keep that. I got this instrumental uh, still fly big time by big timers. I have that, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that in here wherever you saved yours. You're gonna drag it from there, and now to my FL Studio, which is right here. I'm gonna go to where I dragged it to, which was well. What I just said was collapse structure. It closed all my folders up for me. Uh, packs, and then well, yeah, I dragged. I clicked on packs, which you should have done anyway if you're following this instruction. Now, have the instrumentals folder, and there it is, right there. Uh, yeah, still fly. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, after you get this into your FL Studio, and you locate it, like I just did, you want to, uh, let's say, you open up FL Studio and you just have the step sequencer, which is this. This is the step sequencer. You want to go to a uh, view playlist. And now, if your playlist looks like this, this one with all the boxes, you're already in the right spot. However, if it looks like this with just the bars, you need to drag that down. You can drag it all the way down if you want. You can drag it halfway. I like mine halfway so I can see both of these. I actually like it about here because I like more of this. I use this side more. But, anyways, that's not the point. Uh, basically, you want to click your file that you just put there uh, I'm gonna have to cut this part out because it's gonna play some of it so the video jumps I'm sorry drag that into this uh, part up here with the boxes now it's there change it from pattern to song in order to play this part and there's your instrumental simple as that however changing the tempo does not do anything to this thing like I can speed up the tempo and it's gonna play the same instrumental so yeah, you can see it's just like stretching it out to fit the tempo and everything and then whatever see that yeah but that's how you do it simple as that okay with a couple of updates I'm getting really close to a thousand subscribers and to you famous people you're probably like Psh, what a loser had a thousand subscribers a long time ago but anyways thank all of you very much. This is like feels great to almost get a thousand subscribers. Some of you may not have noticed that. I, some of you may have noticed that I am a YouTube partner now. I have ads on my uh, hip hop beat tutorial, which I'll give an annotation to right now in the middle of the screen. It's that's the only video I have ads on, but you know it's it's good. Thank YouTube for that. And basically, the reason I didn't play any of the samples, the instrumentals, and I had to cut them out and stuff, is because YouTube might have looked at it as copyright, and I don't want to get suspended and lose my new partnership, because it's freaking amazing. <laughs> Love you, YouTube. But, yeah. So, when you're a partner, I guess you have to be careful. 
all that stuff. But that's the end of the video. Please write and comment. Subscribe if you want more tutorials, tips, tricks on FL Studio 8. I might be getting FL Studio 9 soon. I do not know. Uh, as of now, I'm only doing FL Studio tutorials. I may do other program tutorials in the future. But that's it. Please write, comment, subscribe.